so I guess we are back to old age. Uh, are we back at the old age period again? Well, guess it's a yes. And here it is, the perfect retirement apartment. Now I guess there's a marker. We sure are. Okay, I think I got it figured out. Hmm? I mean, we haven't just been jumping back and forth randomly, right? There's a pattern to it. Now we get explanation. With all of other patients, we began from the most recent point and gradually trace backwards. And in this case, it did start like that. For the first few memories in his oldest time, everything went just as normal. But then we somehow got slingshotted. All the way to the earliest accessible memory. So we cleared that and once again leaped back. To the older times where we left off. Then to the earlier once again, moving forward. And once more to the older time, moving backwards. These jumps aren't in random order, or nor do they form just any pattern. It's the pattern of the decaying orbit. Yeah, I already know, but I know why. It's almost as if we are being pulled in, spiraling towards a gravitational center. A gravitational center, huh? Inappropriate context for, phys uh, for physics aside, what do you think is causing this? Some oh so deep event of melancholic, melodramatic angst that traumatize our fine gentlemen? I don't know, maybe it's just a memory of that sort, but maybe it's something else. Well, you're not saying anything. Uh, something else? What could be there other than memories? Like I said, I don't know. It's just what we have seen a lot of patients, and there's never been a memory that's done this. True. Alright, I guess at least this one isn't routine then. Hmm, we will see. Okay, uh, we could go here, but let us talk to the guys first. One bedroom with balcony, and there is also an attic for storage. How often do you find attics in an apartment, huh? Not to mention the lake view. I thought the lake is on the other side of the building though. Yeah, but this unit is on the edge. You can see it if you hold out a mirror from the balcony. Uh, okay. Here, have a brochure. Sorry about the mess in the living room, the previous owner had to move in a hurry. Why is that? Is the, is the area quiet? Oh yes ma'am, it's quite like a graveyard. I mean, uh, yes, it is tranquil. Sorry, it's my first time being an agent. Well then you're not going, doing a good job. I don't know. There's a balcony, you said? Yep. It's got a great view, and given how high it is, you can certainly fall and... I'm, I, I mean... Yes, balcony, it has that. Okay, sure. Then let's check the balcony. Yeah, the attic, I mean. An attic in an apartment, isn't it amazing? I think this floor is otherwise reserved for heatings and utility unit for the building. If something in the building explodes, I guess it would be probably it would it would probably hit pretty close. Uh, 
Okay, I'm trying to feel spook about the memory leap thing, but this isn't helping. Yeah, this guy is not a good agent somehow. On the other hand, it is kind of suspicious then they crave out this single storage attic. Yeah, you are really not helping at all. Are you actually gonna try to, yeah, I don't know, rent this place, sell this place, or whatever? What are you actually trying? You're not giving your best, or maybe this is your best, and really, it's your first time, so I guess it's fine. Try to just try just not to make so much, so many jokes. I did the same mistakes during my first job presentation, so let's not repeat that. And this is the kitchen! If you pay attention to the walls, you will notice that it hasn't had even one fire accident. Of course, if it had, the whole place would have surely burned down, being an apartment and all. Uh, uh, I mean, of course it won't happen, because you all seem like careful folks, right? I guess that's what I'm saying is, uh, fire safely is very important. <coughs> Look, I'm sorry, I'm just really new at this. Yeah, we... We, we, we can see. But yeah, okay, but else is nothing here. I'll steal all these old boxes and let us see the living room then. This is the balcony. There are some, I don't know. A brochure for the apartment. Uh, let me check the balcony first. Why not? And as you can see, this is why they call this the Lakeview Resident. I mean, you can't literally see because the lake's behind us on the other side but if you extend your head off the balcony to the left you might be able to see a bit of it don't know you would fall off okay on we go Don't do it, Paul, Pell. But this guy loved the balcony, huh? I guess due to his shut up memory. Huh, wasn't this just a brochure a moment ago? Uh, I guess he just followed it. What's the issue? Well, if I'm guessing right, being a memento, it's kind of odd that it came to be without us seeing. Huh. In any case, at least it's convenient. I didn't see all another way out of this place. Okay, as I said, there's probably some someone mastermind behind to yeah set the specific memento for us. But I can't be for sure. So, what do you think? Well, it is nice and quiet. It is nice and quiet. I like it. Me too, but I would like it better. Um, I would have liked it better if you just didn't talk, Fred. Yeah, that really didn't help at all. If you weren't my cousin's friend's brother's... Okay, cousin's friend's brother. We would have walked out by now. More like ran out. I'm sorry you guys, I'm not at good as sales. So, uh, sorry to be blunt, but are you going to take it? Cause there's a deposit fee, you see, which technically I could elope with, but I promise I... Stop talking, we will take it. 
Mm -hmm. Thanks heaven, my wife was gonna murder me if I didn't make a cell by this month. Nah, yeah, not helping at all. What are you doing? What about this room? You said you're a musician, right? This room is perfect for performances. There's a very little room for an audience though, so you would probably be playing alone. Which is kind of sad, but I digress. Also careful with those stairs, but you all seem to have rocket hips, so no problem here. Yeah, this guy is just something else. But yeah, now we actually already know the uh, momento, so let's save again. And jump right into it, I guess. So activate the momento, and I guess it's again this puzzle thing here. I need to build a paper plane, so let me focus on the book first. Okay, wow, this is much harder. Just realize. Because I can only move the middle part. I mean, is it possible for me to still do it then? Because this one I can get it out. <coughs> so this is already impossible. Same for this part. This is impossible. Mission impossible. Like everything. No, this one. Okay, well. Then the only thing I can do is merge three clocks, maybe? I could merge the books. And I could have probably merged the clock somehow. Uh, but I don't see how. No, I think it's not really possible. So sure, let me just merge the book then. I merge the paper plane then and the rest I have to leave. But I guess it's fine. If it's not doable, then it's not doable. Let me save again. And jump, I guess, back to the child base. <coughs> Just shift this corgi instead of the bird. But why someone wanna erase the bird memory? But put the corgi in instead. Slinked back again, huh? Yep, your theory still checks out. Okay, let's place bets. What? Bet on what's causing this anomaly? Of course, your guesses versus mine. Oh, get the light. What do you mean? Tips on first guess then. Bet you ten dollar it's about a girl. Don't be romantic, aren't you? Nah, no, just the fact that with these things it's always about some girl. Not everything is about some girl, Neil. Masad, I've seen enough from his own memory to say that he's happily married and... Hey! It 
it's a girl. What you doing up there? Yes, you. I see you standing up there like that every day. What are you doing? Always looking at. Uh, what are you always looking at? There you are. So, got a name? Uh, you have a name, right? Colin? What? I can't hear you. I said my name. <coughs> I said my name is Colin. Huh? You're Colin, what? What? No. Let me just. Hold on, I'll be right back. Corgi. So my fury was maybe right. It's about a girl. It's Rudog plush toy. Doesn't seem like he's playing with it much. Poor Rudog. He's writing a letter, I guess. I mean, this changed the whole story with the with the bird. This doesn't make sense. So was the whole bird thing <laughs> a lie? Yeah, I need two orbs, sure. Nothing we can detect here. A green notebook with a pen clipped inside. Sure, but nothing we can index to, so it's fine. Hey, I'm gonna throw this paper plane over. I wrote stuff on it, so just catch it, okay? I was gonna say just speak louder, but... Okay. Okay, here it goes. Uh, hold on. I mean, that's impressive, to be honest. Dumb kid has no respect for the law of physics. He's like, nine, dude. Hey, it's alright. You need to concentrate, okay? Just keep your eyes on me and throw as hard as you can. If you tried hard enough, I'm sure you can do it. I believe in you. Okay, okay, I can do this. Here it goes. Should have seen your determined face. That's not funny. You can't fight against the wind, silly, no matter how hard you try. What did you think was gonna happen? <laughs> I'm going inside. Okay, wait, wait, don't go. So, Colin, right? I thought you didn't hear. Yeah, well, I think I've actually seen you on the way to school. What does that have to do with? You go to the one just across the wood from here, right? Yeah. Oh, well, I go to the one just across the street from yours. 
the private school? Yep, yep. Lucky. Why? Well, cause it's all exclusive and costs money and stuff. Oh, hmm, I guess. People are all snobby there, though. They are? Nah, I'm just trying to make you feel better. Well, not working. Hey, let's walk to school together next time. Why? Cause I like you, silly. You are just the right amount of dump. <laughs> Thank you. What that's supposed to mean? My side. Have you heard about the beer attacks in the woods? <coughs> no, I only see beggars. What did you hear? Oh no, I didn't hear anything either. But that's why I'm suspicious. It's a little bit too quiet. Doesn't make sense to. Anyway, we practically go the same route, right? It would be good to stick together. I guess so. Ah, uh, my voice is killing me. Okay, so it's it about a girl, maybe? What was that? Hmm? She just ran back in when they came out. Uh. It's not that uncommon for kids to be scared of their parents. Back when I was young, I knew a kid who had one scary mother. Saw her spanking and um, spanking him with a spatula once. Never ate her brownies after that. Okay, she is very suspicious in everything. Maybe she's right. A girl across the balcony. Fire. Okay. Okay, what are you doing? What a weirdo kid. I know, yeah. I know better words for it. Still the screen book. Yep, of course. Oh, another clock. Don't you dare do anything. I'm getting this one. Let me at least take it off the wall for you. No. Just don't. It's not even that high. We don't need to take it down. Sure, if you want, if you want to do it, why not? This guy's again watching Wudok. On the upside, I wish I had the TV all by myself when I was a kid. You and Wudok, you kind of. Today's classical guitar concert is sponsored by Meow Blend. Who's Meow Blend? Meow 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 meow. Uh, sure. Why can't we just have a jingle this catchy? Once, ca one can only dream. Coming up next on Classic Replay, The Godfather. Really? Hold on. I wanna. I kind of wanna stay and watch this. Instead, you come into my house on the day my daughter is to be married and you ask me to do murder for money. Wow, a bit hairy for a kid. I mean, it's a godfather. So, I don't know. Okay, we have a note here. Let me check it out. A blurry note from Colin's mom. I guess it's blurry because it's a memory. So I assume in in real it's not blurry. Sweet blender. Yeah, blenders are very convenient. Um, kitchen utensils. But nothing. 
nothing here, nothing here, nothing there, okay? So I guess let me check him in the toilet playing the cello. Not sure why he's doing this in the toilet. But sure, why not? Why is he practicing in the bathroom? Because the bathroom reverb makes the sound awesome, of course. You sure seem knowledgeable? Back when I played the triangle, I did it all the time. Yeah, and the triangle kit, huh? And you're not that good. Wow, not even the fable bathroom reverb could save that crap. Yeah, he's not that good. Okay, let's get out of here before he's ready to attack our ears again. No, I just want to check everything else. I mean, at the end he get got kind of better, I think. Okay, something's blocking the door. Ah, this is this is by this is actually intentional. Well, yeah, we are done. So we can go back. We can check this red kit. No Hadoken, I guess, from her. I can save. And exit with a memento. We don't even have to take it down. Uh, some blanks helps remember, some helps to forget. I have no idea what this is the meaning of this. And with that, we are already done. Let me save again. And I would also say this should be it for this session. Because this time I record about the same amount as usual, even though I said I would do it less. But I don't know why, if you are distracted, in this case playing a game, you don't really feel the sickness so much. So, yeah, that's why I record as much as usual. Which means I should have enough for the, until the next session. And I guess if her theory is correct, which is usually the case from Rosalind, we will then jump back to the old age. But yeah, this all of the things we will see in the next sessions and the next following sessions to answer the questions, first of all, why we are having this spiral, which would be our end goal. Which, when if it's true, then nope. I, I thought we were able to see the timeline, okay, doesn't matter. But it would be somewhere in the middle age, like in a sense, as a young adult will be our target or destinations. And the whole questions, the one question that I still have in mind is who was the mysterious person in the wood? And, it, and if my theory is correct, that this person is the one who's setting the memento, which leads us to jumping back and forth. But as I said, we will probably figure this out somewhere in the following sessions. Maybe rather in the end than in the beginning, I guess. But with that said, this should be it for the day. And as usual, if you like this as play, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Or just when I see the continuation of this game. With that said, I wish you guys have a nice day and see you in the next episode of Finding Paradise. Bye!